hard to believe it's been over a year since Lindenhurst native Jeremy Ruckert was drafted by his favorite team, the Jets. Was it worth the wait? It's, it was worth the wait. It was. I would wait hours more for that moment again. But that was 2022. Now Jeremy is a grizzled old NFL vet, helping out Long Island's younger generation. Boys and girls, say hi to Jeremy. He's here. It's kind of crazy that it happened a year ago. I remember when I was their age, running around doing this stuff, rooting for the Jets, and now, uh, now look where we are. Jeremy was at Massapequa Park on Sunday to help host a Nassau County PAL football camp. You get three hours with a homegrown product who just happens to be a New York Jet. Nice job, nice job, nice job. More than 130 kids and young adults signed up for the camp and the early returns were life changing. Nice. Nice throw, nice throw. This is the best day of my life. It's the best day of your life? Yes. And you threw a pass to an NFL player? Yes. Doesn't get better than that. All right. Can. Good, good job. Life for Jeremy is going pretty good as well, especially with a new Hall of Fame quarterback to catch passes from. How have your interactions been with Aaron Rodgers? The way in meeting rooms is it, that he can um, you know, explain the offense to us and, and make sure that we know why, we, why he wants us in certain places. Right. That's really what's taken me by surprise early on, and I think I'm just grateful to learn as much as I can from him and um, you know, keep, keep, keep going. Rucker says he's healthier than he's been in years and is ready to make an impact on the Jets, just like he's doing with his fellow Long Islanders. I want to make sure that they know um, it's it's possible. I grew up here. I, I did all the stuff that they were doing. I never thought it could be a thing, but now looking back at it, just being able to give them that sense of hope and be right out here and just, just you know, having fun and making sure they're doing it for the right reasons. For Newsday TV, I'm Jamie Stewart.